trying another portable magnetic loop, this time made of coax cable. This is probably the simplest magnetic loop you're going to see. It's 7 metres of RG58 coax and a box with a tuning capacitor. The advantage is, if you're not using it as a loop, you can use it as an ordinary patch cable. Also keeping it simple is the feed arrangement. There's no second in a loop. Instead, the loop element is threaded through a ferrite toroid. It's an FT5043. The antenna is lowered slightly and tuned for maximum noise. Although it's not as good as a full-sized wire antenna, a loop like this might be okay if you've only got a small courtyard at home. Or, if portable, there's no room for a squid pole and the trees aren't very tall. A few more details. A 50 picofarad variable capacitor in a small box. This is connected to the outer braid of the coaxial cable. The inner conductor is not connected. And at the bottom is your ferrite toroid, two or three turns of wire you might need to experiment, and that's connected to a coax connector. It really helps if you can lift the bottom of the loop off the ground. An easy way to do that is just to have a string running from the top of the loop and then up to its upper support. The loop also works on 20 metres but with one less turn. This means you need to vary the settings at both the bottom and the top of the antenna for multi-band operation. VK3 YE portable, VK4 WIR, go ahead. I think it was, VK3 YE, uh, please confirm. This is ZL2RMH, you, you, you're a bit weak, but I am reading you. VK3 YE portable, VK6 NTE, name's Ted Tango Echo Delta. And I'm located about 15k northeast of Bunbury in the southwest corner. Magnetic loop with 5 watts, no problem at all. A little bit of QSB on your signal, but uh, most of the time it's pretty darn good. 